Rage, rage, rage finder. Any person that has done any kind of research on street photography has heard the camera type rangefinder in one way or another. Uh, the reason for that is simply because the rangefinder camera is used by tons and tons of street photographers uh, out there and there's a lot of reasons why you might want to use one yourself. In this episode, you guys, we're going to be talking about rangefinder cameras and some of the pros about shooting with this type of camera uh, for street photography. We're going to cover some of the reasons why a lot of photographers use rangefinders uh, and, you know, just talk more in depth about some of the things that make rangefinder cameras very, very good tools for street photography. But before we get started, you guys, this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. And we're going to talk more a little bit about them later on in this episode. But for now, sit back, relax, and let's talk about rangefinder cameras. Okay, so I'll go out on a limb and just say rangefinder cameras are one of the best tools that you can use for making street photographs, but it's just one of them. It's not the end all be all. I feel like a lot of people kind of put rangefinder cameras on a pedestal when it comes to street photography, uh, when really it's just one tool that you can use to get the job done. There are other cameras out there like SLR cameras or even point and shoots that do a fantastic job. For example, there are some guys out in San Francisco that strictly use SLR cameras only. Um, at the end of the day, it really is just personal preference um, and what you are most comfortable with. And so I wanna talk today about rangefinder cameras, but I just wanna preface this by saying it's not the end all be all tool for street photography. So don't feel like you need a rangefinder to make street photographs. With that said though, you guys, there are a ton of benefits of shooting with a rangefinder camera. Um, and some of them have a slider edge over maybe even like an SLR, for example, when shooting out on the street. Now, most of the time with street photography, you need to be reactive and you need to be able to, you know, set your camera up quickly. You have scenes in front of you that are never going to happen again. And if you can't scramble and put your camera together within a matter of seconds, you're either going to miss the scene or you're just going to have a terribly exposed shot. And so uh, you need to be able to focus quickly. You need to be able to set your exposure. You're relatively quick. And lastly, you need to be able to react quick enough to set your camera up. Uh, so when you think of a rangefinder camera, that is kind of what the features of this surround. You see, rangefinder cameras are very quick and easy to set up for street shooting. Uh, one of the reasons for that is because of this hyperfocal scale here on the lens. Now I'm gonna do a little close up here of this 35 millimeter Summicron. Um, and on most rangefinder lenses, you guys, you're going to have a hyperfocal scale here on top, which is gonna allow you to use techniques like zone focusing or even just being able to focus quickly because the rangefinder has what we would call a rangefinder system, hence the name, uh, which pretty much is two ghost images and when they line up, it means you are in focus. This is a really, really good tool to use for people who maybe don't have, you know, good eyesight and they can't really see what's inside of like an SLR prism. They can just line up the two images on the rangefinder, but it also means you can focus very quickly. You see on a rangefinder camera, there is a little viewfinder here on the left side with the actual rangefinder patch inside of it, but you don't actually get to see a preview of what the image looks like. You're just going to see frame lines inside and as well as your rangefinder patch. And you're gonna focus with the rangefinder patch and you're going to compose within those frame lines. So if you're someone who shoots with an SLR camera and you know what I'm talking about, when you focus, you can see what you're gonna draw into focus. Uh, you're not gonna really get that with an SLR camera. You're getting kind of an, or rangefinder camera, I should say. You're getting more of an estimation of what the image is going to look like within the frame lines. And you're not seeing what you're getting in focus. You're just pretty much lining the two ghost images together. Rangefinder cameras also have shorter focus throws on their lenses. So for example, on my 35 Summicron here, this is infinity and this is close focus. So we use these little tabs here on the bottom of our lens to focus. 
and so it makes focusing a lot quicker just because there is less of a focus throw compared to something like on a 35 millimeter slr lens for example that you know focus ring is just going to continue to turn and turn and turn which means you might need to take more time focusing and again with street photography we always want to make sure we can focus quickly to capture the scene in front of us and so that's pretty much the whole entire reason why rangefinder cameras are you know very very good tools for street photography they have short focus throws um, and they also have the rangefinder system to be able to focus quickly and accurately uh, within really a matter of one to two seconds now focusing with a rangefinder does take practice but it's something that you can get used to pretty easily i will say it's a lot easier than focusing with an slr lens um, and for the most part i am perfectly fine shooting with an slr camera but something about just lining up the ghost images and not really having to worry about what's in focus and seeing a preview uh, just makes the whole entire shooting experience seem more seamless and a lot quicker i also mentioned briefly zone focusing and the ability to use that technique with rangefinder lenses now the thing is zone focusing you can pretty much use that technique on slr cameras anything that has a hyperfocal scale you can use the zone focusing technique and if you guys haven't seen my zone focusing tutorial i will leave a link in the description below as well as in the cards up there all right you guys really quick before we move on i want to thank our sponsor for this episode the good folks over at squarespace squarespace is your all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business now, when it comes to making a website, you guys, the easiest way, in my opinion, to get started is through Squarespace. They give you all the different tools and templates that you need to get going, and you can literally launch your own website in under 30 minutes. Some of my favorite features include being able to create your own pages for blogs. You can even have your own galleries and portfolios if you are a photographer or creative and you want to share your work. But most importantly, you guys, my favorite, of course, is the e-commerce shop that you can set up and you can set up your own professional business right from home. And the best part is you guys are going to be able to get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or a website using my promo code KINGJAPES or you guys can head over to squarespace.com slash KINGJAPES. So huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. But let's jump back into it. Now, the second reason why I feel like rangefinder cameras are really good tools for street photography um, is simply because of the almost silent shutters. You see, most rangefinder cameras are going to have leaf shutters, which means we don't have a mirror inside that's going to make this nice, big, clacky noise. Uh, we actually have leaf shutters in here, and this one is a cloth shutter curtain, but check how quiet this is compared to an SLR camera. So here's the M2. Still not the quietest, but it's still far quieter than something like my Nikon F3. So let me go grab that really quick. All right, so let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. So here is the Nikon F3. And then here is the M2. Now, the next thing we're going to be talking about, you guys, is how rangefinder cameras look a lot more different than SLRs, especially to strangers out on the street. I have been stopped multiple times with my rangefinder camera and it almost kind of seems like a conversation starter they're like does that thing take film you know that's an old school looking camera uh, opposed to when i even take like the nikon f3 out because it looks like a almost standard slr camera it almost looks like any other camera that you would see out there so you know something that could be a benefit to shooting with rangefinder camera is that people are just going to be more interested in what it is uh, people are gonna you know not really question you too much on what you're doing you look like a hobbyist you look like somebody who's just having fun which is exactly what you're doing but with an slr camera for the most part it just seems like a normal camera and that's not to downplay slr cameras whatsoever you guys all i'm saying is every time i'm out on the street with the leica or the r2 way uh generally somebody will just make a comment and say that's a cool you know vintage old school looking camera this is the same reason why you guys the x pro line of cameras hold their value more than the xt line of cameras from fuji um, it's kind of a look it's something that looks really you know appealing to the eye and for the most part you guys rangefinders are functional but they are also very beautiful pieces of work but all in all you guys when it comes down to the functionality of a rangefinder camera and you look at the correlation in some of the more you know popular street photography digital cameras uh, one thing that you're going to notice is that the style in which a rangefinder camera makes photographs 
is often transferred into features in some of these digital cameras. For example, take the Fuji X Pro 2. You have a you know viewfinder window here on the left side. You know, looking at this, this is a rangefinder styled mirrorless camera. You can actually shoot this camera here with frame lines built in which you know gives you kind of the functionality of a rangefinder but with autofocus. Another great example is like the Ricoh GR2 or the Ricoh GR3. These cameras have a function called snap focus which essentially is your digital version on a point and shoot of course of zone focusing. You're selecting a distance that you can automatically focus to uh, with a full press snap and that's the same thing as zone focusing with a Leica. You know, there's a lot of features that come from shooting with a rangefinder that are kind of transferred over into some of these digital cameras that make it very popular for street photography. And at the end of the day, you guys, I'm probably missing a couple here. It's really the style in which a rangefinder can operate. It's very quick, it's very versatile, it's very quiet, and it's also a really pleasant shooting experience. But with that said, it's not for everyone. There are going to be people out there who will much prefer shooting with an SLR camera than shooting with a rangefinder, and that is completely okay. But if you're someone out there who wants to try out and shoot a rangefinder, I highly recommend you do borrow your friend's camera for a day or two, see if you can go rent one out just to you know get the gist of what rangefinders can do for you, um, and see if you like it because again, it's not for everybody and it does take some time to get used to. Um, and a lot of these rangefinder cameras, I should say, don't have built-in light meters and so if that's something that you look for in a camera it might not be a good idea and you might need to purchase like an external meter like this one but if anything that we talked about in this video appeals to you um, and you want to try it out for street photography i implore you to go ahead and do that and try it out yourself just to see and you know feel firsthand why us street photographers like to shoot with rangefinders. But that's gonna wrap up our video, you guys. I wanna turn the mic over to you and just ask you, do you have any experience shooting rangefinder cameras? And also, what do you think about the whole rangefinder system for street photography? Let me know down in the comment section below. But for now, I'm gonna end it up here. As always, Minolta Gang. Whew.